Hi, my name is Jack, and I have just written this book, Recovering from Religious Abuse, 11 Steps to Spiritual Freedom. Now, in writing this, you might ask yourself, who are you to write about such a subject? Well, in my own story, I was raised Roman Catholic in Boston before Vatican II, and if you ever saw that movie Doubt, I'm, I mean to tell you, that was the kind of life that we led. And I definitely had spiritual abuse as a child, as a Roman Catholic. Now, later, during the Vietnam War, I was a member of a group in a radical hippie community in California that turned into a cult. Finding my way out of that and reconnecting with the loving God was very difficult. One of the other things that I've had experience with in my life is alcoholism. I've been in recovery for 17 continuous years. And what I did is I took some of the principles from recovery from alcoholism, along with my experience in Christianity, and I developed a program. It's 11 steps to recovery from religious abuse. Not 12, 11. But the principles, a lot of them are the same. And I found a way to heal my wounds, to come forward, be honest about my behavior, who I was, and a way to reconnect with God in a real, tangible, and powerful way that has transformed my life. And I decided, I don't just need this for myself. I need to share this with other people. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. If you've been religiously abused, I know you're wounded. I know you're hurting. I know you're in pain. When you're in pain like that, what do you do? You medicate it. What do you medicate it with? You medicate it with alcohol. You medicate it with overspending, overeating, pornography, lots of things. And you just keep going down, down, down. You're God's people, but you're not acting like it. And you know your life is not where it should be. I've got a way to help. I promise. It, these 11 steps to recovery from religious abuse will help you take the problem, split it apart, so that you can reconnect with God in a real and powerful way, while at the same time, never putting yourself in a position again to be spiritually abused. I guarantee it.